That's a good sound. Oh, you should have done the thing. Get a mic for extra. Oh, my drink in this. He's got that if you want. Calcium water. Yeah. I think this frog's bonnet. Got one of these. Nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, welcome back to day two of the recap. Um, so, what do we do today? Today was mostly about training. Do you do anything in the morning? Just got some meat, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's too some. much. Yeah. Food, I love how cheap food is in Romania. Yeah. yeah. Like, you get loads of food as well. It's, yeah, you like you easily get twice as much food as in Ireland maybe, but a third of the price, a quarter of the price, depending yeah. on where. Yeah. And Gabriel said he eats every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can't do that in Ireland. No we Can't get away with that. No. Jesus, definitely no. not. Like we were to go to lunches at work sometimes, we got kind of mm. lazy some weeks, and it actually it ends up costing so much, yeah. just even for like a lunch for a day, you know. Three euro coffee. Yeah. 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 That's crazy, yeah. yeah. Whereas like you'd guess, yesterday we got literally like a strip of steak and potatoes and salad. And it was what do you say five euro? Yeah, which is just crazy. Really nice food and stuff. Like yeah, that. really good. Like your that was like proper tenderloin, like really really good cuts of meat. And like the coffee's really good as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, very good coffee. They're all like little shorts. Yeah, I uh, like the kind of Turkish coffee. Yeah, style. You were kind of looking for Americano stuff, but you haven't really seen it, was it? It's no, like, it's no. all expresses. Yeah, it's yeah. Like Gabriel saying, yeah. But they were calling it long and short, but they both look like expresses. The long is yeah. like this size. It's still really short. Yeah. Yeah. And like your falafel stuff was like those wraps. I'm just getting falafels all the time. There's yeah. actually barely any vegan options here, but it's, what, not, it's not terrible. What would normally yeah. be, like what would the other options be like in, like besides for falafel would be like? Like mock meat. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. You find that in like a couple of fast food restaurants yeah. like in Ireland, but there's like none here yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah falafel is is it chickpea and soybean or something is it or yeah it's like a chickpea kind of thing yeah, yeah. it's an indian thing actually it's a, yeah yeah. Fla- yeah it's nice so here so it's okay yeah but, kind of sick of it now though yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> been eating it like three times a day here yeah yeah, yeah. and it's in the same kind of salad and, r- and kind of bread thing though yeah yeah that's fair enough mm. but like even those are like like what three or four euro or something for the yeah very cheap yeah. yeah there's a lot to be said for it but the city where Cluj is like really up and coming in terms yeah. of like building and stuff even since we were here two years ago there's a lot of like different buildings and stuff mm. yeah we stayed in the same hotel the last time mm-hmm. and when you look up to the top of the hill or even like look out this direction mm. just massively expanded yeah so we're uh, so literally just got food this morning and then today we so what time did we go training though three three o'clock yeah didn't start actually training until three thirty or quarter four though <laughs> what yeah. did we, do? we did a long warm up anyway. what happened yeah. all day though what did we do i feel like nothing because we we got breakfast pretty early but yeah. breakfast is actually lunch yes yeah so we woke up this morning to someone banging on the door actually we woke up this morning to an emergency alert on oh our yes phones. No, that's the first time that has happened to me yeah saying like there's a really loud disaster well. yeah. did yours make did your phone make yeah, it's noise? really loud yeah my yeah. headphones are plugged in Mm. So it didn't make a noise, like just made noise through those. That's mad that it kind of overrides your phone thing. Yeah, yeah. Mine either didn't make a noise or it didn't make up, but it was like an emergency thing. In Romanian though, so you just see this emergency thing in your phone and you're like... Yeah, I wanted to find out what it was, it was trying to copy and paste, like you didn't copy and paste it to translate it. It looked like a structural fire from the bit of translating I did. Okay. Um, In this building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Uh, In Cluj somewhere and then I just looked up and there was a... Like a news article about it. I was kind of worried. I thought like there was an earthquake or something. Yeah. I was like, oh, I better check this out. I couldn't find anything. Yeah. 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 My default was at the scam, and I was like, well, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like through an earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> this is clearly a scam. Like, yeah. I didn't think there'd actually be because we don't have those in Ireland. I've never seen them. Yeah, no. There was that one time in what? Oh, sorry. I was say. No, I was just going to say after that. Yeah. We then woke up a second time yes. to someone banging on the door, and it was the girl who works in the hotel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The place where breakfast is in the hotel is right next to our room. Mm-hmm. So they were obviously like, the lads haven't been here for breakfast yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and saying like, oh, it ends in 10 minutes. So yeah. I went in and got breakfast. Uh, but I don't think either eat it. No, because I was, I, I know Gabriel said we're going to go for food in the morning anyway. And the food is so nice, so cheap. We're just kind of like, I prefer the yeah. hotel breakfast. That was basically it until half three. Um, it's really funny when you're training, there's a load of um, like lads in construction work because they're, they have an outdoor, what do you call those? Not not gazebo, kind of porch. What's the proper name for those? Like a long one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a name for it anyway. Yeah. Um, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, the other outside of houses all the way around. So there's like, like a patio area, like with a, a covering over. So they have one of those in the gym. You can see in the video, 
and they're closing all that in with like uh, MDMF and insulation, a lot of insulation, I'd say, but it looks things, and they definitely need it. But they keep, I was snatching with like 100 kilos or 120 or something. When I, I was right in front of the door, and when I looked down, there was no one in front, or when I looked up first, I looked down, and I looked back up, there was just two of standing, just for like, like this, but really positive, encouraging smiles. And she got down on camera so you can overlay it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They were just feeling really like yeah. this, and you're like, oh my god, I need to concentrate. <laughs> but they're really nice about it, though. They're, yeah. not, they're not being like, oh, look at him lifting weights. They're like, look at him lifting yeah, weights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what do you do, Clarence? Um, bit of a disappointing day, actually. Yeah. Um, I maxed yes. in the snatch. <laughs> uh, only got 170, missed 180 like four or five times wanted to at least hit that way and yes. I failed to so it's a bit disappointing <laughs> it looked yeah. the, the last time looked really really close mm. uh, what was Gabriel saying to you about those misses what was he, I, I he didn't say it. much really yeah. actually what can um, you say I suppose I should actually ask him tomorrow like, uh, yeah. yeah I'll get him to analyze the videos maybe what did yeah. you feel like when you were doing it um, like my snatches have been just really inconsistent lately. Yes. Like uh, in training, I've been like just missing like mm -hmm. lighter weights, like 150, 160. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's just technique consistency has just been really bad recently with you, snatches. You said lockdown kind of fucked that up for you, but did it? You're saying you yeah, months. yeah. It's like I spent like three months not doing any yeah. like proper snatching. That's so, a long time at the start yeah. of year. Yeah, especially when you. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. you know, when you're trying to snatch 180 weights, like, it's mm. still 180 no matter how good you are. Like, so mm. that's always going to be a huge effect. Yeah. yeah, but overall, like, this yeah. year has been really good for me. Training. Like, last year was really good. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm actually happy with the numbers I hit yeah. last year. It takes a long time to set up training and then to get a good training block in, you know. It literally goes in months, you know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So it's hard. And what did you do after that? Uh, I just did, like, playing jerks and squats. Yeah. Like, snatch was the focus today. Say clean and jerk would be the focus on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What you do, Gareth? I what did I do? I did some lots of snatch reps up to one twenty, some doubles, and then two singles at one thirty. Um they were they're okay. My shoulders are still really tight. You can even see it some of them, I think. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, wrists are getting a lot better, but my shoulders are still really tight and my, my like quad tendon on the left side was really really fucking tight on the catch so um which is fine because i suppose we were talking about today like you feel a lot of pressure when you're training here um but if this was a normal training week at home i would have just gone to 120 and like 150 did a long warm-up because i had a, like a big week in malta and then i had um just hardly any training last week so this week I'd obviously be like, okay, so this week I'm just going to do like moderate volume and intensity and build back up. But now we're here, I'm like, fuck, I need to like do something better, you know? <laughs> so there's like a lot of pressure in the sessions where... G Gabriel was saying you, you need to go heavier or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like, just try 150, the weights <laughs> get different as they get the heavier. And I'm like, I know they get different, they'll get even more What sore. was the analogy you gave you about the lotto? Oh, if you, don't, <laughs> if you don't play the lotto, you don't win, but I prefer not to do the lotto. <laughs> I prefer to just know I'm going to make them, you know? Um, they, didn't feel they didn't feel bad, you know? They didn't feel heavier or anything like so. It, they just felt shitty. Do you know Like, my body yeah. just didn't feel great. But you missed 150. 150. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I didn't miss it. I just didn't jerk it. So, oh. the, the bar is like, um, like really, really whippy, you know? Mm. And Germany, you like, make contact with the whips even more again after. So, just kind of yeah. just fucked me up a little bit. But then I made 160. Uh, today's the first second where I do clean jerks about wrist wraps, which I was pretty happy about because they took a game. <laughs> so, I need the bar closer to my chest, but the wrist wraps are so tight that I couldn't flex them. So I was like, I just need to try without it today. And it was better. So hopefully uh, on Thursday we'll do something a bit better. And then just front squats, pulls, and then more presses. What do you do? Uh, I did front squat plus jerks. My jerks were fucking dodgy. Uh, but it wasn't too bad. Like, there was one jerk in particular. It's getting better. That uh, Oh, it's definitely getting better. There's, like, there's, a few, there's a few where it kind of harkens back to like, what my jerk was like when Martin was over. No, I think oh, there's oh, one yeah. or two like there's one or two reps today that were good. Then there's just a lot where it's like just holding it out in front on the right side. Um, you think that you're not sure if that came from your shoulder being really tight and your wrists up? I'm not sure if my shoulder is really tight and then that fucked my wrist up. Yes. Or if my wrist is fucked up and then my shoulder just like holds it out here. Uh, there's definitely some better jerks today and then. I did because I was doing front squat plus jerk and then on certain reps I'd just do the jerk after doing the front squat plus jerk mm -hmm. just to get more practice in and then I front squat at 180 uh, and that was pretty much it for my session. Why were you doing front squat jerks? Uh, my clean is like where my clean kind of needs to be like I don't think my clean would get a huge amount better with 
the weights I'm lifting right now. Mm-hmm. Like, I just need to actually train to get a better clean, you know? Yes. Uh, so, I'd say I'll probably clean 150 or something bigger on Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. But, at the moment, I just need to practice loads of jerks. Yeah, your jerk looks like it could get very good, very fast, if you keep doing more jerks. Yeah. Because it's improving a lot each week, you know? I think I need to start strict pressing again as well. Again or ever? No, when I, when I did have a jerk... I had a better strict press. Or it's just yeah. strict pressing more frequently. Imagine how good your jerk would be if you strict press 100 kilos. Yeah. Um, so it's funny, the exercise section thing was like front squat, jerks, then jerks, then heavy front squats. Quite yeah. an aesthetic front squat. Nice. Yeah, yeah. they look grand until yeah. it gets heavy. So you did some waves on those. You yeah. Back up on those. Oh, yeah, I did do waves. There actually. isn't that big of a gap between like your front squat and that. So no, like, right now it's like yeah. probably 10 or 15 kilos. Damn. <laughs> yeah. That's because you literally have the masculine nose, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I knew I didn't really start training to come over here until we were like a week or two out. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, fuck it. I'll just front squat every chance I get mm-hmm. and try and get my front squat up. But it's obviously works. Your clean looks better than it's ever had, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. To be honest, I started thinking about my clean an awful lot different as well. What did you think about it? Just like getting into the pleasant I think of much less contact. Yes. Like every single time I pull the clean off the ground, I just think about getting my shoulders in front and then not making contact. Yeah. And obviously I always make contact, but like those two things have just changed Yeah. how it looks. Yeah, you look like you clean like it's looks like there's a lot more. Like if you just keep training you'll get better as well. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Trying to fix things, you know? Yeah. Um Gabriel did like so he just he wasn't really training he said it was like as again as usual he was like he said his back was really sore and he was like kind of tired he looked tired too to be fair so he just did like no contact muscle snatches like five by five i think you got that on video oh that's his warm-up yeah yeah it's like five muscle snatches three behind the neck presses and then three overhead squats it's like cardio <laughs> did, he, <laughs> did he did you record thing about the olympics what are you saying no. oh he, he's saying he did that even in rio like in yeah, the yeah yeah so he yeah. says at Rio, he did the complex. Uh, then he went out and did the parade where you, you know you were introduced and you go back to the warm up room, and then he started his warm up. So he's like, yeah. he said it's a good way of doing some barbell stuff and calming your nerves without actually having to warm up your snatch, cool down, and warm it up again. Mm. So he said yeah. it's like a little Romanian secret they have. <laughs> to be fair, last time we were here as well, he was big into that. Yeah, no, they, like, he, it's it's <clears> not like anything has changed. No, 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 no. like he was. Yeah, uh, but his power snatches, like the speed of his power snatches as he was building up. Yes. I, just crazy like so he worked up to 120 he didn't he didn't power snatch it though did he he just no, full snatched he made, yeah and then he snatched 130 yeah. what I don't like what blows my mind about Gabriel's technique is if he's in a 170 shape or 130 shape it all looks really powerful and the exact same like he's pulling never looks weak it never looks slow he never looks like he's in a different position than he would be for a perfect lift like it I generally think he's the best technician of any male lifter. I can't think of anyone who's better. Yeah, no, it's phenomenal. And then he did. Uh, he's kind of. <clears throat> they're like stiff legged kind of pulls with a shrug or. Romanian deadlifts? Roman, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they're almost like a Romanian style deadlift. Right, he's like. Romanian <laughs> style deadlift. He, like, he keeps his hips really high, but it's, it's like he's. He back hinges over really far forward, and then he does kind of a little shrug at the top. Um, which is apparently how Nick Vlad did him apparently back in the day when Romanian Dallas were giving their name in uh, Jim Smith's gym they're for your back not your hamstrings so that's why Gabriel does them and then he did, did he do anything else? not really no he finished no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Um. did you squat actually Clarence? you did? oh I just squatted up to 200 that's just to do something yeah. for your legs like. yeah okay yeah. Um. what did um, Talented Young for the snatch was it like 100 or something? I didn't see his last yeah I think I was paying attention yeah, yeah. yeah. He's uh, he really swings the bar, but he's so fast it doesn't even matter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then we just got more food and then got more food. Came home. What you got? You got something different this time, did you? Noodles. Oh uh, yeah, noodles and tofu. It's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. The food, yeah, the food is good. We thought Clarence had frog spawn in his, like, was it like granola <laughs> with chai seeds or something? Chia seeds. Chia yeah. seeds. Chia seeds. Chia. <laughs> is it not chia? Chia seeds. Chia. Chia. Yeah. yeah. What uh, did you say? Chia. Chia. But anyway, <laughs> tree trees. <laughs> we were like, we were like, oh, there's frog spawn in that, because it looked funny, like it looked like frog spawn. Yeah, it did. It did uh, but obviously, it wasn't. I don't think people eat frog spawn. Oh, definitely. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of like fried? Stuff? Absolutely. There's no way. No, no absolutely. I, I don't believe someone eats frog spawn. I guarantee you. Look on the internet. You know what? Actually, someone probably does eat it. Yeah, that's just... people eat like jellyfish porridge. Mm, what do you mean? You. 
like yeah. with, <laughs> with actual porridge like so like <clears throat> porridge or grits yeah and then the jellyfish is cooked yes and like that mixture is mixed through the porridge grits is barley isn't it grits is like corn oh, corn porridge made with corn i think rather than oats it's, it's really bland unless you add in like some kind of sweet stuff with it grits with that uh, fried eggs is very very good did you have grits in the states what is grits what it's like grits? porridge but it's very fine no, I never. It's not always, okay. yeah. It's it's a corn, but is there, I thought there was wheat or barley in it as well. Could be. Yeah, I maybe. could be completely wrong. But yeah. fried eggs with like runny yolks, on top of grits. On top of grits, yeah. Grits and biscuits. Jeez, I don't know about fried eggs on top of. Hard and bread. in the states, what they call biscuits are actually scones. Yeah, I don't get yuck. Just, <laughs> yeah, it's a ridiculous, ridiculous yeah. state of affairs. Ridiculous. So uh, I think that was kind of it, really. We just yeah. had a look around, <coughs> and then we got back here. <coughs> Jesus, Corona. Um, I think that's it really is it yeah so, that's okay. it so tomorrow we're going or maybe tomorrow they won't have time to know so tomorrow we're going visiting a commercial gym so it's either like the crossfit kind of commercial one or we're going an actual commercial gym isn't it yeah what's the actual commercial gym you're saying is it a friend owns it um no like it's it's in the center of Cluj. so okay. it's like one of the big commercial gyms yes so there's like four wheel platforms we might not be able to drop bars. <laughs> yeah which doesn't make sense but you know gyms yes say. yeah yeah <laughs> Is that the gym you lifted in with the Alico? I don't know. Oh, you were thinking that. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. I don't know. It's not. Is, so. There's no. so many gyms here. Yeah, a lot of gyms. Gym culture is really big here. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people are in shape, to be fair. Yeah. Um, which is just to say they're not fat, which I don't say a lot for people, I suppose. But um, yeah, there's loads of gyms. He used to lift in that gym where he had to, like, he's bringing down with 50 snatches, like, from yeah. The, oh, yeah. To the hip. Mm. Do you ever, have you ever snatched, like, anything over, like, 100 kilos with. Those vibration plates, so the the what? Ilico, they're like anti vibration plates or whatever. They're very wide. They're really really Chrome wide. Chrome rubber. Oh, they're well, like no, I left it on a silent platform. Oh um, yeah, really there's, there's a good one and then a bad one. Okay, Ilico. Uh, I think the better one is like what twenty grand more or something. Really? <laughs> yeah. Holy but, shit. Like the the weights bounce so high, like you yeah. drop it and like goes up to your nose. <laughs> that can't be good for the barbell. Yeah, it just can't. Mm. That yeah, extra dropping. But those really big ones, like if you use them, you'll feel like the oscillation on a snatch pull. Like I remember doing clean and jerk. But they the ones in cork. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember doing like a clean and jerk, it. and it was <laughs> only like one thirty. <laughs> and literally, when you caught the clean, so usually when you catch a clean, your timing is like anyway okay. Yeah. You just kind of like ride it up. This like double bounces as you're standing up because you yeah. rebend <laughs> the bar as you stand up. Yeah. It's so strange. I was in one part of Malta. There's a part of the gym upstairs, and I loaded like. It caught, the whip caught me funny in the snatch and I was like oh no I'm not going to clean jerk and then there was like 130 and it was hurting my shoulders and my wrists at the same time when I was jerking <laughs> so I was like right I'm just going to stop doing these um, they're fun to use but they're not good for training like it's not good for your, yeah. they can't be good for your joints no it's like squatting with a really whippy bear you know it feels great you like a certain thing, point don't what? you you like a whippy or was it Gabriel saying that no, no Gabriel no. said he likes no. the whippy bear you first is it a stiffer bear or something what me yeah you don't really care do you uh I did pause squats for like a couple of years. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. I used to like a stiff bear. Yeah. Yeah. Quite squat heavy. I think it was Gabriel actually, yeah. yeah, he was saying he likes a really whippy bear. I don't uh it depends, like just too whippy. My squat's way too slow for any whippiness. It makes it So it just like Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just not good. Yeah, I could feel the whip on the pull in those bars. So I need to make sure we just use the Lico barrel and not the uh, Yeah, he has a good uh, Lico barrel, right? I don't yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Were you saying something funny about the XF bar or was it just I don't know. I can't really tell. I think there's more whip on it for sure. Yeah. yeah. Like I notice it in the contact and such. I, yeah. I never feel that on the bar. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, 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 yeah. Extra whip in this contact. That's weird. I, yeah. It's it's likely no one has ever smashed 180 on a CrossFit XF Elico bar. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so that's no one, very, very likely. No yeah. one's ever going to send them that feedback. Like, so. Mm. Um, I, I noticed that like when I got heavy, like above like 150. Oh, okay. It's a bit weird. I don't know. I think that's a valid argument that 180 snatches. Yeah, like that kind of, especially if you've never used a bar like that, that whippy at one eighties and stuff, you know. Um, that's what happened at one fifty clean when I caught it. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Mm. And that was that wasn't the there wasn't those. They're fine bar chain with though, like the nice. yeah. Well, I hate to complain nice. about the bars because like, yeah, I have like snatched a clean jerk with like cheap bars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Huge weights. So. But like my best clean jerk is I'm one of those shitty the D eight bars, you know the yeah. The they're same. like what one hundred and fifty euros. Yeah, yeah I snatched like one eighty on those. I yeah, clean two twenty <laughs> so. I never blame for a miss, but if you've made a successful lift, you could be like, they weren't great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on that note, I think, on that bombshell, I think our camera's about to run out of 20 minute timer. So we'll see tomorrow for the, uh, the today's vlog will be up, or you'll already seen it probably on Clarence's second channel, or day one's vlog, and then day two. 
yeah. it'll be up as well tomorrow, will it? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right. 